two sample Z test. Uh, what is the most appropriate experimental situation where you can apply this test and how to collect the data, how to analyze the data and explain the results in the context of the problem. We're going to be talking about this in this video. Now to know more about the text explanation for this, you can go to the openeducator.com, then under DOE, Design of Experiment, Module 2, click on the two sample Z test. So here is a situation where you can apply this test. Uh, for example, we are interested to see whether there is a difference between the Swedish and U.S. male population with respect to the height. Now, let's assume that the data is normally distributed and both population are known. Both of them, the, the mean and the standard deviation is known. We're just testing whether this is still valid or not. So basically, you simply collect 30 or more samples from Sweden and same some numbers from the United States. This is the data. I'll post the data in Excel so you don't have to type this. Uh, so here is the data file in Microsoft Excel. Simply to analyze the data, you have to be in data tab and click on the data analysis. Now, if you don't see this data analysis, uh, simply you can right click on the ribbon and say customize ribbon. And then um, you can see do add-ins, come on. Excel add-ins and then simply if you don't see that it's probably this analysis tool pack box is not selected so click on there uh, make sure that this is selected hit OK and then you will see the data analysis now you have to be in tool data tab you can see that in if you are in any other tab so click on that data tab find the two sample Z test click hit OK select the first um, sample US height, the second sample, the Swedish height, and then the hypothesized value, we say zero difference between them. And then the known variance, we're gonna select, let's see if I can select a cell, oh, no. So we'll type the US male uh, standard deviation and then Swedish male standard deviation. I have the levels in my first row of the data set, hit okay. That will give me the result that I need. Um, so the probability value uh, for the two sample we got um, very very low let me put it in the uh, not in the engineering notation let's see from itself we're gonna see it less of six decimal points so this is the probability value for the null hypothesis uh, which is, you can see this step-by-step -step process in the openeducator.com. So here is the null hypothesis, the mean difference between the, now the p-value or the probability value is for the null hypothesis collected from the data. And we have found that it is very, very low. It's almost zero. It's a little bit different here. I don't know why, but um, it's, it's very low, meaning that uh, the null hypothesis will not happen. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is smaller. Something wrong here, some typo. They'll probably have to check it. Uh, but it's still the conclusion would be same. Uh, when you reject the null hypothesis, well, they're different. Now, um, the next question would be, okay, then who is taller and who is uh, smaller? Um, so you can see here that the Swedish height is a little bit in the sample higher and the U.S. is a little bit um, is smaller. However, we can't use the same uh, hypothesis to draw the conclusion. This is one of the mistakes that uh, my students make all the time is they see here the alternative hypothesis is not equal. So only thing you can say, well, they're not equal. Now, if you have to say one of them is taller than the other one, you have to say the alternative hypothesis like that. So then you have to make alternative hypothesis like this, that yes, US male is smaller than the Swedish male. For this alternative hypothesis, now it's an on-sided alternative hypothesis. So p-value is basically half of what was calculated. So here the p-value, the half of that p-value is basically this which is still, we'll reject it. So we'll still say that, yes, we reject the null hypothesis. So we accept the alternative, meaning that um, the Swedish people is taller, is statistically taller than the US 
um, male population. Swedish male population is statistically taller than the US male population. 